everyone, my name is Ashley, and I'm here to bring you all the books that I read in March. So for the month of March, I read eight books, seven audio and one physical, and the only reason I read a physical book is because I could not find the audiobook of it. And the months started off really rocky, there were a lot of two stars, but as the month progressed, I started finding five star books. So it's been an okay month for reading. So the first book I'm going to talk about is Meet Cute. This is a bunch of short stories about meet cute situations. And I was not a fan of this book. <laughs> I had it on audio and I just never really wanted to listen to it. I didn't find it adorable. Nothing was romantic and it was a real struggle for me to get through. Um, the only story I liked out of here that I gave five stars was Jennifer L. Armitrout's uh, The Dictionary of You and Me, I think it's called. And then 295 Miles is the book I gave four stars to. <laughs> and then everything else got like two or one stars because I just wanted more out of this book. It was just so hyped a few years ago that it was an anthology of love stories and meet cute situations and there just wasn't much happening. So the next book I read was Frankly in Love. This is another book that I struggled with so hard. I kept wanting to like this book. I was reading it physically, put it down for a few months, and then finally got the audiobook just to finish off the book. I struggled connecting with the main character, I think, was my big issue. I didn't get some of the jokes he was saying, and I, like, the connection between, like, him and his friend, I just felt, like, out of the loop, and I just wasn't connecting with them. Um, there were definitely things I did like about this book. I liked how they talked about the relationship between, like, him and his parents and, like, culture differences. I liked that. But also the romance part I struggled with. I wanted more. It's frankly in love, and I just think it felt really short on the love part of it. And yeah, this is another disappointing read that I had in March. So the next book I read was Monday's Not Coming. I had no idea what to expect out of this book. And I loved it. It was edgy your seat, emotional, hard hitting, contemporary. And I listened to the audiobook and it was hard at first trying to get the timelines figured out because they're going back and forth between when Monday's there and when Monday's not there. But once you got the hang of it, it was just, I could not stop listening. I typically only listen to my audiobooks at work, and this is one that I listened to when I was at home because I just wanted to know what was happening. So the next book I read was The Revolution of Bertie Randolph. Again, this is another book I had no idea what to expect when I was going in. I saw this book everywhere because of the beautiful cover, put it off forever, but then I finally got the audiobook of it. This is a story about a girl who lives with her family, and another hard-hitting contemporary deals with drugs a bit, family relations, and just like trust between each other. Another fantastic read in March. So the next book I got on audio was Once and For All by Sarah Dessen. I am really into wedding stories. I'm into watching weddings on TV, and I also found out I love reading about them in the book world as well. This is about a daughter whose mother is in charge of a wedding planning company, and she doesn't believe in love because of something that happened to her. Um, her mother also doesn't believe in love because of past relationships as well. And of course, this is a cute romance story. <laughs> But it also deals with like some other difficult issues as well, which I wasn't expecting because I was really hoping this would just be really like a fluff contemporary, but there were some issues in here. Um, I did respect them for, they did add to the story, they didn't take away from, from it. So the next book I have is Listen to Your Heart. This is my first Casey West novel and I think I will pick up another one by her. I really enjoyed her writing style, I enjoyed her storytelling, the main characters, um, I just enjoyed everything about this book. It was cute, fluffy, nice. So there was a podcast element in this book, and I really enjoyed how she didn't turn the two main podcast people against each other because they weren't friends in the first place, and how they became friends at the end of the book. Because sometimes 
like that conflict would get in the way but it really wasn't about that and I really enjoyed that element of not pitting the women against each other <laughs> uh so yeah this was another really great read for me so the next book I read was When Dimple Met Rishi this is a, another YA contemporary that's mostly what I listen to on audio and this was okay for me I found Dimple really annoying and I thought she was extremely rude for no reason most of the time. Rishi, I felt bad for him, but then he also came on really strong at times, and I think he wasn't respecting her friend zone that she was setting up, and I think he was sort of pushing her towards a relationship, even though that's not what she wanted, and they just didn't give each other time to, like, get to know each other. It was very insta-love, which I think bothered me a tiny bit, but not as much as Dimple's main personality. <laughs> Alright, so the last book I read was Outliers. This is definitely not a book I would typically read. I read it for class, um, but I will explain it a little bit. It is about how people are not really outliers in society. They're the way they are because of certain things that happen to them in life. Um, so it talks about how if you want to become an expert in something, you have to do it for 10,000 hours. So the Beatles were amazing because they practiced for 10,000 hours. Like Bill Gates and Steve Jobs. It's not because, it's a little bit because of their upbringing, but it's also because they practiced and they got in at the right places at the right time. But I really enjoyed this book. I enjoyed learning about different things I don't think about, like hockey players being born January, February, and March. And if you're born after that, good luck being a hockey player because odds are you're not going to be one. <laughs> Yeah, this was an interesting school read that I had to do. So these are all the books that I read in March. Um, some of them good, some of them bad, but it was overall a good reading month for me, I think so, with how many books I got done. Now hopefully April will just be as good and I can read more physical books. That would be really nice. Anyway, thanks for watching and hope to see you soon. Bye!